Hey guys and welcome to another video with me, Ella Love Pink. And today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how I edit my audio. So the first one would be using Camtasia. The second app or program would be WavePad. So let's start with Camtasia. Okay, so this voice recording I this is from my DIY book cover tutorial and I recorded the video first and then I did a voiceover. So it's different from what I'm doing right now because I'm talking as I record. So there's that. Okay, so to do a voice narration in Camtasia, you just have a video. Pretend this is a video and you're gonna click voice narration and you start recording. So if you can't find that it will be in the tools and voice narration. Also the audio is also here and you can click or you can click the tabs right down here. So the audio tab, what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable noise removal and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without the without without the noise removal. Okay, so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images and I'm gonna and this is what it sounds like with noise removal. So I used my own recording and not a song because songs are usually clean so you can't hear anything static behind them. So yeah. Okay, so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images and I'm gonna pick it removes the static noise behind you. So you could adjust the sensitivity by opening the advanced and i think this one is okay at 50. so the next one no, okay i'm gonna show you what it sounds like if you raise it up okay so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from google images so when you lower it of course okay so for your eye you're you gonna hear, pick an you can hear the static again okay so as you can see the this is your this is your volume you, you can raise your volume like so but I don't use that because there are things like this, like it goes down and then you have suddenly parts where I raise my voice and it's really painful to your ears if I just raise it like this. So we're gonna put it back to 100% and what I do is I click enable voice up, enable volume leveling and you're gonna go to custom settings and what my settings are usually 20, negative 26, and 19 and you can adjust it the way you want it. So yeah. Okay, so for your eye you're gonna pick Okay, so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from Google Image. So it raises your it raises the volume but it's not painful to your ears or at least that's what I think. And yeah, so to remove the copyright from your audio, you have to make it faster or you could add a reverb to it or you could raise the pitch like to make it sound like a chipmunk or a giant. So those are the three things that you can do. And in Camtasia, I can only do, uh, right, you can go right click clip speed or you can go edit clip speed. So that's the same thing and you can raise the speed and I usually go for 120 and what this does it speeds up your audio and when you speed up an audio it also raises the pitch in Camtasia so sounds like this okay so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from and when you do this it usually removes copyright so yeah we're gonna undo that and we're gonna save this so one of the problems that I had when I'm using Camtasia is I don't know how to save it as an audio. So you're gonna click produce and share and then custom production settings. I don't know. I mean add or edit preset, then click next. And then you're just gonna click finish. This one is faster to load because this is an mp3 file. Okay, so this is what Audacity looks like and this, I don't know what version this is. But yeah, I haven't played around with it yet. I haven't mastered it. I'm still, I still get confused. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you the effects that I know that you could use to remove copyright notices. 
No, not remove copyright. No, to, to remove the copyright from your song so you can upload it and it can't find you unless somebody reports you. So I'm gonna go to file, import, import audio, and go to go to get the file earlier that we cleaned. Okay, so the first effect that I can show you is reverb. So this is this effect is something that makes you sound like you're recording in a bathroom or you're recording in a large room, a large empty room. So there's like a bit of an echo. It's not really an echo. I can't explain it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna click effect right over here and you're gonna go down to reverb. I don't have specifics here, it depends on your recording. But I usually go for 50, 10, 39, 50, 100, 100, negative 1, negative 1, and 100. Yes, I think this is like the default. Okay, so for your eye, you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images, and I'm gonna pick a strong. Okay, so that's what it sounds like. And yeah, I think we're gonna lower the room size because I feel like it's too much. Okay, so for your eye, you're gonna pick an eye from. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna I always. Just lower the room size, the delay, and the reverberance. So. Okay, so for your eye, you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images, and I'm gonna pick a strong. Okay, so yeah. You're gonna click OK, and it will apply the reverb, and we're gonna play it by the middle. One of the edges looks a bit weird, so we added this part and blended it like that. And it's easy to blend because it's a Okay, so basically that's what it sounds like. So I think you get an idea and I don't use this for tutorials because I want the tutorials to sound clear. So I'm gonna undo this one. Okay, so next we're gonna go and change the pitch. And you're gonna go click effect and click change pitch. So so in the ca in Camtasia you can only speed up the video. You have to speed up your audio to raise the pitch. And you know, what if you don't want it to go faster? What if you just want to use the pitch to remove copyright? So this is what you do. You just play around with it. So I'm gonna play it with a high pitch, somewhat decent, and it won't destroy your ears. Okay, so for I you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images, and I'm gonna pick a strong looking eye and so yeah, uh, that's what it sounds so it's like a chipmunk. And when you lower it, that's fine. Okay, so for your eye, you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images, and I'm gonna pick a strong looking eye. And yeah, so that's basically what it sounds like. So now you get an idea what a pitch is if you don't know. And you're just gonna click OK and it will apply the pitch. Okay, so next, what if you just want to change the speed and you don't want it to be pitch? You're gonna go click effect and change tempo, not speed. Because if you change the speed, you'll speed up the audio and also raise the pitch. We don't want that, we just want to make it faster without the pitch thing. So you're gonna change the percentage again, you just have to drag, have to drag it like so. Okay, so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from Okay. Okay, so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images and I'm gonna pick a strong looking eye and for the record I've recorded this voice. Okay, so that's that's how it is. And for the record, I never used this, so if you notice me talking really fast, that's because that's that's just me. So we're gonna lower it so you can hear what it sounds like when it's slower. So you can get it. Okay, video. so for your eye, you're gonna pick an eye from Google Images and the last thing you can go click effect and change speed and again if you speed it up like this, it will also change the pitch. Okay, so for your eye you're gonna pick an eye from Google just like in Camtasia. So yeah. To save it, you're gonna go click File and click Export Audio or Export Selected Audio. Same thing. Thank you guys for watching and be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video. Subscribe for more videos every Friday, sometimes Saturdays.
but mostly Fridays but you know because of timeline problems it could be Thursdays too Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays because I'm a day earlier then I have to stop this video is so long I have to edit bye